Well, just look at uh, today's catch. Uh, yep, this was my first time fishing uh, into uh, Pinwear Ponds. And I must say, it was tough getting in there, but we had a fantastic trip all the same. So I'm gonna clean these up and just see what they're eating and see what the color is like on the inside. And I'm gonna split them and, and that. And tomorrow for supper, uh, I'm gonna cook these up and I'll do a taste test. And we'll compare these trout uh, to some of the other ones that I got in different places throughout the big land. Whoa! <laughs> okay, this is really nice looking trout. Yep, we had a tough time uh, getting in there, you know, and uh, there's a lot of water around, so I kind of got wet, you know, from head to toe, <laughs> pretty much. So as soon as I got back from this trip, uh, yeah, I got a shower and a couple of hot coffees and, yeah. <laughs> you can see what this one is eating already. Yeah, this one here is eating trout. Yeah, this is a bit pale looking there. This one fish right here makes it all worthwhile. I'm wet from head to toe, but I don't care. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Now, uh, one thing about the pinware ponds is there's like there's four ponds there. But I'm not sure if they are individually named or not. It's just like pinware ponds, a little string of ponds. It's kind of like a lay of ponds, but lay of ponds got different uh, names on the individual ponds. Oh, oh, just look at that right there. Just look at this. Very nice, very, very, very nice. One hook there, another one's right on down. He swallowed the other one. And see, what a difference. I'm trying to get two of them there together. Think honey knows it's taste test time <laughs> and right here I got uh, the trout that I cut yesterday and uh, I'm in Goose Bay now but uh, I dropped off some to the parents on the way in line here in Port Hope between the first and fourth pond is quite a ways apart and you know there could be quite a difference in trout so I'm gonna do a taste test for what I cut in one pond the first pond and a taste test for the fourth pond I'm not going to combine them together just like when I was in Lay the Ponds inside of Port Hope, I only done a taste test for a trout that I caught in Mountaineer Brook. That's where I caught my limit. Now the boys caught some trout into Mountaineer Pond. Now I could have borrowed or got or switched trout with them and done a taste test for Mountaineer Pond as well, but I would not include Mountaineer Pond and Mountaineer Brook trout together because, you know, even though the ponds are all connected and everything else, there can be quite a bit of difference in trout from one of one pond to the other depending on the amount of feed and other factors you know uh just like in later ponds i was here to mountain air brook next year i'm hoping to get into otterbore brook which is the furthest pond where the fish on the furthest pond in we couldn't get there the year because the lease was bad you know so I, i'm not going to you know switch up and mix up trout from the different ponds there because there can be quite a bit of difference all right i got vegetable oil and salt pork in the frying pan and uh when it's ready, I'm going to toss, add a little bit of sprinkle, a little bit of salt, and toss this trout in the flour and pepper. And this right here is what I cut in pinware pans. This is the first pan. I'm going to try these first. I'm saving the best for last.
Now, I picked up a piece here for a uh, taste test. All right, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to try the ones from uh, the first pan first. And I got the ones from the fourth pan in the pan. But when I hopped them at the water, I must say it was a very nice looking fish. But you can see look, it's wetter. I kind of, I kind of figured that. Very wet. Yeah. The best part of the fish, I think, was catching them and having to look at them. Eating wise, it's very, very wet. Huh. Oh. Yeah, now we go. The two trout, you know, looked a bit different from each other. Uh, the trout that I got from the first and the fourth pan, uh -huh. you know, this is not my type of trout. So I, I sooner just catch these and let them go again. But you know, was, I caught these yesterday, May 4th. You know, it was getting kind of late in the spring. But you know, yeah. six, nine, that's the best I could do with this. I couldn't care less for that. You know, anything in the sixes is not too good for me. Sevens, you know, is okay, you know, whatever, but six, nine, pinwheel pines, first pine. Now, the trout here from the fort pine, I know is gonna be better. It's just a much nicer looking trout. piece for the taste test. This would let me get. But a much, this is a much better tasting trout this time. Mmm. This is a fine eating trout. Too hot for you, huh? Yeah, this is a, a much, better, much better trout. Oh, a lot better. You know, it's a little bit late in the season. It's still a fine trout. 8-4. It's a good trout. Especially for this late. Oh, that's it. Let out. You know, it's not uh, easy judging these trout, you know, but uh, uh, the one thing you would get from these videos is it'll give you a good idea of the type of trout that you could potentially catch in different areas.